guys welcome back to another episode of android application development tutorial with android studio in this episode we are going to learn about how to display a dialog fragment in your android application so if you using if you use the dialog fragment to select date or time then the user can insert the date or time in correct format and the recommended way of displaying a time picker or date picker is by using the dialog fragment so if you're using the dialog fragment to display the date picker or time picker, the dialog fragment will automatically handle the lifecycle methods. Also, you can apply different layout configurations for the dialog. So here in this episode, I'm going to show you how to create a time picker using dialog fragment. And one more thing, the dialog fragment is available from, from Android version 3.0 and above. And if you if you are Android application if the minimum required SDK version of your Android application is below 3.0 then you have to use the Android supporting libraries to display to use the dialog fragment or if your application minimum required SDK version is 3.0 then you can use the Android platform dialog fragment instead of the supporting libraries so here I am going to show you how to display a dialog frag how to display a time picker using dialog fragment and here i'm going to use the android supporting libraries that means here i'm going to create an application that will support android version 3.0 and lower so i have to use the android supporting libraries to display to use the dialog fragment so start a new project in android studio and make sure that your android your application minimum SDK version is lower than 3.0 so the first thing we have to add the supporting we have to download the supporting libraries for the Android version 3.0 and below so open up the SDK manager open your Android SDK manager okay now find out the extras folder yeah, you can find it at the bottom of the Android SDK manager expand the extras folder and in that folder you can see the Android support library if you're using Eclipse you have to download Android support library and if you're using Android studio instead of support library you can download Android support support repository so here I'm I use the Android studio so here I installed Android support repository so that is enough so now I have the Android support libraries so now, now come back to the project now you have to add this Android support libraries to your application so if you're working with Android Studio go to the Gradle script and open up the build.gradle file okay and find out this section called uh, dependencies here you need to add something called yeah here you need to add the support library so here I'm going to add the Android app compact at compact v7 support library so I copy this one you can get this from the Android developer website so here I am going to use that one okay so this this support library is available from target SDK version 18 so we have to change this into 18 also the minimum SDK version needed is 7 okay now you have to sync the Gradle file because we make some changes on the Gradle file so we have to sync it now so click this option sync now okay now the Gradle file is synced successfully now I'm going to create the time picker using the dialog fragment so for creating for working with the time picker here I'm going to create a new Java class so here I'm going to use this Java class for displaying the time picker dialog I name the class as dialog handler okay so here I am going to extend this class using dialog fragment 
make sure that you use the dialog fragment available with the Android supporting libraries. If your Android, if your application support Android version 3.0 and lower, then you have to use the dialog fragment from the support library. So here, here, here is the support library, Android support.v4. Okay. Now you have to overwrite a method called onCreateDialog. In this dialog, you have to create the time picker dialog. And for handling the click events of the time picker, here I am going to create another Java class. The purpose of this Java class is to handle the click events of the time picker. So right click the package and new Java class. I name the classes time settings click OK now I have another Java class called uh, time settings the purpose of this Java class is, is to handle the click events of the time picker ok now go to dialog handler so here we have to create the time picker So the first thing we have to create an object of calendar. The purpose of this object is to get the current time and date, sorry, current hour and minute of the system. That means the Android device. So create an object of calendar. I name it as calendar equal to calendar dot use this method get instance. Okay. Now we have to get the current hour. So create an integer variable hour equal to calendar dot call the get method and specify the variable so calendar dot hour of the day. Okay, now we have to get the minute. So int minute equal to calendar dot call that method get method again and here it is minute of the day calendar dot minute okay now we can create the time picker dialog so here I am going to create the time picker dialog create an object of time picker dialog I name it as dialog okay so before going to create the time picker dialog we have to create an object of this class called the uh, time settings because the time settings class will handle the click events of the time picker dialog so we have to add something on the time settings here i am going to implement time picker dialog dot there is a interface called on time set listener okay here you need to override some method, implement methods on time set, click OK. So whenever user set the time on the time picker, this method will invoke. On time set method will invoke. It has argument like time picker view and hour of the day and minute. Okay. So whenever user set the time using the time picker, this method will invoke. So now go back to dialog handler. Okay, one more thing here we need an object of context the purpose of the context object is here I, I, I need to display a toast whenever user set the time I have to display the selected time using a toast so for displaying a toast I need an object of context that's why I create an object of context here so for initializing this object I, I have to create a constructor So I create a constructor public time settings. And I need an argument of context here. Okay. Now I am going to initialize this context object, this dot context equal to context. Okay. Now go back to the dialog handler. Here we need an object of time settings. So here I am going to create an object of time settings. Before 
going to create the time picker dialog so time settings I name it as time settings equal to new time settings and you have to pass a context so I call the get activity method okay now we can create the time picker dialog so dialog equal to new time picker dialog so the first argument you need to pass is the context object so I call the get activity method the second one is the object of the class that will handle the click events of the time picker so if you handle the click events of this time picker on this class you can pass this so in this case I handle the click events on another class called the time setting so I have to pass the object of that class so here the object name is time settings now the third argument you have to pass the hover so I pass the variable hover now you have to pass the minute and the final argument is the time format whether it is 24 hour 12 hour or 24 hour format so I call the date format this one date format dot call this method is 24 hour format and call the context object get activity okay now we have a time picker dialog so now we have to return this time picker dialog so return dialog okay so whenever user set the time using this dialog we have to we have to make something on the time setting so whenever user select the user set time this method will invoke on time set this method will invoke so here I am going to display a toast toast dot make text first pass the context object now display a message selected time is first display the hover so here the variable is hover of the day now display minute and display the minute okay finally specify the length duration of the toast I make it as long now call the show method okay so now we have a dialog time picker dialog and now we have to display this dialog so for displaying this dialog I need a button on the activity main.xml file so here I am going to add a button go to the xml version change the text into show dialog also add an on click method for this button and do it on click show dialog now we have to define this method on the main activity.java file so go to the main activity.java file and define that method public void show dialog don't forget to add a view argument here okay so now we have to create an object of dialog handler this class will actually create the dialog so we need an object of dialog handler so dialog handler equal to new dialog handler okay so for e now here my minimum required SDK version is lower than 3.0 so I have to change this one into fragment activity you have to use this class called fragment activity which is available on available on the Android support library so use that one 
okay now you have to call the show method to display the dialog dialog handler dot show first you have to pass the supported fragment manager so use this method get support fragment manager and second argument you have to use a unique tag for your dialog so I specify it as time picker okay now we complete all the coding now we can check the application so now I am going to run the application so click the run button okay now we have the application available on the virtual device so here now the time available on the virtual device is 11.30 so now I am going to click the show dialog button so now here we have a time picker so now the time is set into 11.30 that is the current time of the virtual device and now here I am going to make a selection I change the time into 10.30 pm 10.30 pm and click done button now selected time is 24 minutes 24 hour and 30 minutes ok I hope you enjoy this video thank you for watching see you in the next episode